Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be making croquettes filled with potato, chicken, leek and cheese. And this is your croquettes filled with chicken, cheese, leeks and potatoes. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, do give it a thumbs up. And I'd love it if you share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. So you're just going to cut the chicken up into tiny pieces. You can obviously chop it up with a knife, but I personally just prefer to cut it with a pair of scissors. I find it easier. Make sure you wash your hands before and after you handle raw chicken. Okay, we're just going to cut some potatoes. Now, if you're boiling these potatoes, don't cut them too small because they will go all mushy. But if you're steaming them like I am, you can cut them small as fine. Now we're going to cut some leek. So just chop off the end. These are quite tough bits, so I've just took the ends of these off. And you want to cut along like that. Turn it slightly, cut into it again, and then you just chop. And that's how you get diced leeks. And then just wash them in a colander. Okay, so I always um, use a steamer. So you just have your pot with the water and your, your holy pot on the top. So in one layer, you have your chicken. So in another layer, you can have your potatoes. You, then you add your leeks into another layer or if you wanted you could mix it with your potatoes if you just wanted the two layers. So you put a lid on and you boil this for about 20 minutes. Right, we'll just put some eggs in a dish. We'll give them a quick mix. Then we have some cheese in a bowl ready to go. We have some breadcrumbs which you can buy ready-made or you can do them in a food processor yourself. To every 100 grams of um, breadcrumbs, I add about a heaped tablespoon of flour. Just give that a mix around. Right, in a pot, you put a, a little bit of butter, add a bit of salt, a pinch of white pepper, a bit of paprika and some nutmeg. And you want to add your potatoes and then you just give them a mash. Now some people like to grate their potatoes. I'm quite happy just giving mine a mash, but it's up to you how you do it. And that butter will melt into that potato. Now for this particular recipe, we don't have milk. You best to keep the moisture out of the potatoes. So don't add the milk or the cream if that's what you normally would do. In here, I've got roughly about eight or nine small potatoes. And I've got here 80 grams of cheese. If you put this in when the potatoes are still hot, it will melt. Just give it a bit of a mix around with a wooden spoon and that'll help the cheese melt. You know, even just looking at the color of this potato, it is delicious. And you could just do the croquettes using the potato and the cheese, but I like to add the leek and the chicken. So I've got half a large leek here. Just mix the leek around into the potato and then we'll add our chicken pieces. Now it probably, I diced the chicken up into small pieces, but actually it would be nice if you could go to the butchers and ask them to mince the chicken. It would be easier to work with minced chicken. They might not have it on the counter, but if you ask a lot of butchers, they will do it for you. And then what we'll do is we just leave that to cool because you've got to work with your hands. And if you just add an egg into the potato mixture, just give that a mix around. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on your worktop. 
and you're going to get um, a little handful of your potato mixture. Right, you want a, roughly about two big spoonfuls of mixture and you want to roughly put it into a kind of sausage shape and put it onto your flour and just kind of squash the ends up and then kind of roll it into the flour. And so you have that kind of shape. You don't want it too thin. So that's roughly almost size of my thumb, that thickness. Then you're going to put it into the egg mixture. Just get your hands messy and just make sure it's all dipped in the egg. And then you want to transfer this into the bread mixture and just pick up the breadcrumbs and kind of roll it around, make sure it's all covered as much as you can. Don't forget to dab the sides. Now I know both hands are messy, but because they're quite big, that's really the only way you can do it. And just put them on some greaseproof paper. And once you've done a few of them, put them in the fridge for about half an hour. They're not going to be perfect shapes, that doesn't matter. You can make these as big or as small as you like. If you want smaller ones, just do one heaped spoonful of mixture. Make sure you've got plenty of egg mixture. And dip them into your breadcrumbs. Give them a good coating. And don't forget to get those side bits. It's not easy trying to turn them around when they're full of egg mixture, so be careful, try not to squeeze too hard as you're trying to turn it around. Not easy. Of course you can do different shapes. You could start rolling it into a ball and then just slightly tap it and then go around like that. So then you have this kind of round shape. Again, it's not going to be perfect. Or you could do the bowl shape. Kind of just slightly throw it up in the air and turn it around and you get your bowl shape. Okay, roll it around into the flower. Roll it into your egg. You can do a square shape. You can do a fish finger shape. Use your imagination with it. And of course, I'd love it in the comments if you put in there what kind of shape you did yours if you experimented. And if you tried to put something else in it other than the chicken, leek and potato and cheese, let me know what you did with yours. I'd love to hear from you. Right, so we need to heat the oil. Now don't fill your pan too much, about quarter way full. And once the oil is hot, then you slowly put this into the oil. Don't do it with your fingers, do it with a spoon, it's safer. That's not quite hot enough yet, you can tell it's not bubbling up, so I'll just wait a couple more minutes. Right, so when that's hot, you just place that in. Be careful, so you lower it and then pop it in so it doesn't splash and you get burnt. So you put about three in at a time, I'd say, three or four. Maybe slightly turn them if you can. As you can see, they're a nice brown colour after about four minutes. And once they're ready, you take them out and you put them on some kitchen roll. See how lovely these look. So as you can see here, that's the, the bowl shape. And this is the kind of flat, round circular one. And this is your croquettes filled with chicken, cheese, leeks and potatoes. 
I'll just cut this one open so you can see what it looks like inside. Look how delicious that is. So they, they look really delicious inside and now I'm just going to taste it and see what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. Really tasty. Have fun making yours. Oh, they, are they are lovely. Do make some comments on what you would like to put in your croquettes. There's all different variations. Maybe you can suggest something that might be nice to put in. Thank you for watching the video today with Lifestyle with Sharon. And I hope you enjoyed it. Today I'm going to be making croquettes filled with chicken, lake, lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I start off so well. Right.